In order to dribble the ball, you have to apply a force onto it to push it to the floor. When it hits the floor, it should bounce back up to your waist easily. It bounces back up because the floor has a bigger mass than the ball. This is an example of Newton's third law. Newton's third law states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So if you have more mass, it has more inertia, and it doesn't want to move. It is the same thing if you have a lower mass. It will have low inertia. If the ball is flat, you have to put a greater force into the ball for it to bounce back up. When you play basketball, you want to make sure you have the correct shoes because it plays a big role in how you play. If you think about it, this is a great example to explain how net force equals mass times acceleration. Because if you have a lower mass, you will accelerate more just like with the lighter shoes. Now we are going to test this out by timing three trials with two different shoes on. One pair are good basketball shoes, while the other pair are heavy boots. You would choose the one that has a smaller mass. You would want to choose the shoe with a smaller mass because you will be able to move faster in them while running and you won't lose as much energy with them too. If you don't lose as much energy, then you won't have to take as many breaks and sit out.